I have certainly been fighting a little bit of fear. Good morning, guys. Do you want to say good morning? Yay! Yay! Good morning! We're out at this cool little park behind the library. And Elijah's Yay! crawling around, playing some music. And Mary is resting here on this little uh, climbing webbing. Mary started two antibiotics yesterday. Her lungs aren't doing so well. And so her CF team decided that we'd start two oral antibiotics. I don't feel like I can on. talk because I have sunglasses on. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess you're not allowed to vlog with sunglasses when on. When I put my regular glasses on, I can give you guys more of an update. But, <laughs> okay. But long story short, I don't feel great. Yeah. About a week ago, I started with cold symptoms, but the cold is all gone, but the CF part is still here, it turns out. So, I'm still trying to have adventures, just my own style. You are, your Play face here. is in the sun, it you might want to adjust. Both antibiotics say, avoid direct sunlight. So, Mary's going to stay in the shade. We're gonna crawl around, explore a little bit before we have swim, open swim this afternoon. And so, uh, yeah, one thing at a time. Pinecone. Uh, yeah, cool. That's awesome. <coughs> <coughs> Find some sand. That's so fun. A stick. Here we go. Ready? Go. Oh. 
Good job, buddy. Okay, I was just about to vlog and music came. the kids bought music game. <laughs> so, oh, look at the sunshine rays. Oh, hey guys, it is a beautiful day. What is it, 77 degrees? Ooh. Like the weather is <laughs> chef's kiss perfect. <coughs> so, yeah, I couldn't vlog with sunglasses on, turns out. Turns out. <laughs> I, I couldn't. I'm not Maybe used to sunglasses. A barrier to communication. Correct. Okay. So, here I am. Hello. Hi. We went swimming. That was the best thing physically and mentally for me. Mostly um, physically. I think that was the best Elijah has ever done oh swimming. I mean, it was incredible. Like, he was, he was basically swimming underwater. For like one second. Yeah. <laughs> One whole second. No, he he's historically been fine going underwater and all this, but like sometimes we're like, buddy, close the mouth before you go under. Like, hey, I think he's figuring it out. And uh, he had just so much fun. Yeah. It was just- Like he wanted to do it over and over again. It was awesome. So that was really good. And I, it was one of those activities that made me forget about my body, which is, I amazing so I just haven't been feeling well the last week last week because I had a cold this week because uh, the cold stirred up my CF I I kind of call it a flare now I never used that wording before trichafta but now that seems to me the best description it flares up my the the like CF bugs that are already in my lungs. So I don't know. I don't know if that's the right wording, but I started two antibiotics last night. Um, I restarted Cipro. I just finished a two week course of Cipro a few weeks ago. And then, uh, so restarted Cipro and started doxycycline. And they're not, they're not the best choices for my like Pseudomonas, MRSA, uh, whatever else I have, trichosporin, all these, you know, the things that are in my lungs. They're not the best options, but they are the best out of the options that we have. Like, my doctor it looks at my sputum cultures to see what I'm growing and what, what it's sensitive to, what medications would work for them, the bacteria. And the, the answer is, I'm pan-resistant. The Pseudomonas, I have many strains of Pseudomonas. They are pan resistant to antibiotics. You guys have heard me talk about that for years. I haven't had to talk about it for years, but years, for years, that was the conversation of our life. Can we talk yes, about this? Yes, please. For a Can we talk about this? This this has been the most fun thing. This in is, our entire life this, <laughs> for the last week uh, this is like I feel like we are building uh, <laughs> we're at a red property. light you could run right now you could park and run uh, yeah okay so here's the deal there's this this um, building? building being built and we've been watching the ground get prepared and the steel beams go up. We've been watching the whole process because we drive by it every day. And we keep guessing. Every time we go by, we guess what it could be. We'll be like, by the shape of it, it looks like a Waffle House, but there's a Waffle House right there. <laughs> and then this morning was, oh, there's this uh, chimney looking thing. Yeah. Oh, maybe a Cracker Barrel. <laughs> Wait, why does Cracker Barrel have a chimney? A well, I remember sitting by a big fireplace. It was oh, Cracker Barrel. okay, okay. But it's a wooden fire chimney. Yeah, I think which it's, doesn't feel like it makes. I think sense. it's decorative, maybe. So, and then this morning, my my guess was like a fireside restaurant. Oh, no, 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 farm farm to table type restaurant. Just like a craft food. But there's this white box that they hammer in the ground when they're building around here. And we think it's... It's like the permit box. Yeah. And so we were wondering if we could look at that and it would say... But that just might say the, like, property manager. manager yeah. Or, or the construction company. Or it will say it right there. The answer that we've been 
wondering. But now it's it the mystery of our lifetime that we are just excited to find out when the time comes. But um, the we're looking at the back of the building because the front of the building has like windows, but we don't see that very often. You can see the ukulele in the back. That's been his favorite car activity recently. So, and you guys know he is not a car enjoying type of baby. So we've hit a new stride. Of course, right after I say that, he's going to scream, but it's fine. Um, you were talking about pan resistant pan bacteria. Pan resistant bacteria. There's not a lot of good options. The IV antibiotic topic came up today or yesterday with my team, but we're not there yet. We're going to try these two orals. And basically, if you're new to the CF world, he, maybe his wife's in labor. She must be in labor because they just passed us in a 35 and we're going faster than 35. Mm -hmm. And they're not even going that fast. I mean, if your wife is in labor, you may want to go a little faster than that. Except that I love watching the videos of people giving birth on the side of the road. So, you it is my dream that I would be there for somebody to help them during that time on the side of the road. Should we follow that So, Jeep? we may want to follow the Jeep. I didn't see anybody in the passenger seat. But maybe he's going to meet her. She's on the side of the road already. Maybe. I just think that those videos are incredible because you can see that the mom's body knows what to do. Like, it's incredible. Let's face it, you love any kind of birth video. I do. I do. Mm. Most, mostly. You could ask him. Oh, yes, wife, true. at a stoplight now? <laughs> hey, yes, yeah, so I saw that you um, passed us in the 35. So is your wife in labor? <laughs> or do you have to poop your pants? Because, like, wow. <laughs> Um, am I feeling a little spicy? Spicy? Okay. <coughs> is I, your MRSA pan resistant at this point? It is. I, if I remember correctly, it comes and goes. Showing some susceptibility. Some susceptibility to a couple of different things. But like the Leviquin. I had forgotten this, but I was on Leviquin in the last couple of years because I've needed oral antibiotics periodically over the last couple of years. And I had hallucinations last time I was on Leviquin. So that's not really an option in my opinion. I'd really prefer not to do that ever again. It was like I'd be laying in bed and my eyes were open but I was like having dreams, like spiders were coming or like there were, it was very not good. And it like kept me up all night. So all of this is to say, I started the antibiotics last night and we will see how it goes. Yeah, buddy. But my appetite is not great. So guess what? Donuts sounded good, and we're going to get donuts. So I packed us milk. He, yes, Elijah donated his breast milk cooler to our donut milk date. And. What are you doing, buddy? Sing me a song, piano man. Ah! We'll be there in a couple minutes, bud. Hang with me. So, I suspect there are going to be some rough days as my body tries to recover from this flare. It still feels weird saying that, but it's flared up, so there we go. I really, I have certainly been fighting a little bit of fear. Fear? With, like, what if this is it? What if this is my the turning point where I don't get better. Mm -hmm. I don't want that to be the case. But Hang on, buddy. We're almost there. We've made the most of whatever days looked like when I was really sick, and we can do it again. I don't think I'm getting really sick. I, I'm still strong, and I'm thankful for that. 
and swimming helped me realize that because I was like, I feel good. I feel good in the water. I know I'm probably not going to feel good the rest of the day. Not because of the water, just because I don't feel well and you can't distract yourself forever. But for a little while, I can distract myself and feel good. So let's eat donuts and feel good. We're going to go to Walmart and get some milk and whatever else strikes our fancy fruit, vegetables, I think that'd be like donuts. A, like a good sure like life is hard eat donuts amen all right we are headed we'll tell them the terrible news what's the oh the donut place was closed it was truly sad mary said it was the saddest day of her life okay are we ready all right we're gonna head into the store and get some milk elijah's gonna push the cart for us go ahead sorry oh no you okay and as always, we'll see you guys next time. Oh, knee went down. Good job, buddy. Good job. All right, see you guys. Peace out.